A few months back, Sony officially registered to top-tier camera models in China. While one is known as the Sony A9 III, the identity of the second camera remains undisclosed. Speculation suggests it might be the A7S IV, especially considering that the current A7S III is the oldest full-frame camera after the A9 II. In this video, we'll delve into additional confirmed details about the A7S IV sensor. Stick around until the end for those revelations. We already have verified information about the Sony A7S IV's specifications. It will boast a full-frame X more CMOS sensor with 24.2 megapixels, a significant leap from the A7S III 12.1 megapixels. To manage this, the A7S IV will be equipped with a Bion's XR processor and the latest AI processing. Unit found in the A7R5. This powerful combination facilitates 4K video shooting at 120 FPS. Initially, there was uncertainty about whether the 24.2 megapixel sensor could record in 6K or 8K. But we now have confirmation that the A7S IV will feature a 6K sensor, enabling raw video recording and oversampled 4K video without any cropping. What adds to the excitement is the rumor that the Sony A7S IV might be the pioneer in featuring a new dual-layer transistor, pixel-stack sensor, similar to the technology used in Xperia smartphones. This innovation is expected to yield a signal-to-noise ratio twice as good as that of the A7S III, resulting in a broader dynamic range and cleaner images and all-time high for any alpha camera. Speaking of dynamic range, it is anticipated to be the highest ever on any alpha camera. Dynamic range refers to the contrast ratio between the darkest and brightest parts of an image, spanning from pure black to the brightest white. Even the most advanced digital cameras can typically only capture about half the range compared to the human eye. If Sony successfully implements this, it will be a historic achievement for the manufacturer. Given the camera's typical aspect ratio, it is likely to employ a sensor with around 24 million pixels. The inclusion of a dual-layer sensor in the A7S IV has sparked excitement about potential improvements in image quality, especially in low-light and high-sensitivity shooting conditions. For those unfamiliar with this technology, Sony has already implemented it in their Xperia 1 to 5 smartphones. This dual-layer design separates the light-sensing layer from the signal conversion layer, allowing for improved light detection and more efficient signal conversion. Consequently, the camera is expected to deliver significantly enhanced photosensitivity and noise reduction capabilities apart from these features. The Sony A7S IV will include dual-gain ESO and timecode support, enabling the use of two different film stocks within the same camera. Additionally, the A7S IV will feature S-Log for Gamma and a display assist function integrated into the system to aid users during post-production. A notable enhancement is the latest stabilization system, offering 5-axis image stabilization within body image stabilization of up to 8 stops. This system incorporates a high-performance gyro sensor and an optimized algorithm for more precise shake control. The electronic viewfinder is set to receive an upgrade with a 368 million dot resolution and a 120 FPS refresh rate, surpassing the capabilities of the A7S III. Moreover, the 3-inch tilting LCD monitor is well-suited for filmmakers, and the dual UHS to SD card slots ensure maximum recording time. The A7S III was released in 2020, and its predecessor, the A7S II, came out in 2016, considering the usual timeline. We can anticipate the introduction of the A7S for next year. Possibly in the first quarter of 2024, the A7S II was initially priced at $3,500, but given current global challenges and inflation, it's likely that the launch price of the A7S IV will increase possibly reaching a range below for $1,500. We can only hope that this higher price will be justified by the value Sony brings to this new Alpha camera. What are your thoughts? Share them in the comments section below. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and as always, thanks for watching.